All right, folks, the deck is Black Rock and Roll Menagerie Warrior. The goal of the deck is to draw and play Black Rock and Roll on curve, then draw the remainder of the different cards of different types from our deck, dump them into play, point them at our opponent's face until it explodes. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. Watch this! You asked for it. Let your penance begin. Okay, one, two, three. Nice. I suppose it could still be Spell Mage. Actually, yeah, it might be. I think we just start with one of the Steam Guardians next turn. Oh, no, it's not. At least they don't get a coin here. What if we try... something like this instead? Just continue preventing them from getting coins? Applying pressure, hope they don't have Skyla. They have an answer for this. I mean, we don't have that much health left to get through. Keep on panning. Want to hear my playlist? Time to rock and roll. Let's take that off the board. And this is the deck's low roll. Any problem? Relax. Let's warm you up. Fortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to have an easy time getting back into this, just because, like, I don't know. A 10 mana spout coming out early is kind of terrifying. Wow. That actually went quite well for them. Extraordinarily well for them, my god. Was about it was trying to go even better for them. Okay. 
kind of feel like the only way that I can get there is if I play the Playhouse Giant with Life Steal and through Fell and Flames. That's extraordinarily unlikely. But like if I just make 18, that's 30, maybe that actually gets me there. So I'm at 30 health. They have 28 damage showing here. Feels like if they had a big spell, they would have just played it last turn instead of the generated Yogg box. You don't pick the walls, So far, I have survived. Just barely. No. Okay. Wait a minute. They're worth killing off the Calicos here in exchange for freezing. I think so. I think I actually could have played this first, which would have reduced the cost by this by one, and I would have had perfect use of my mana there. It's a pretty good full heal though. Even if it's only temporary. the 10 mana card so it's going to be a um, another tsunami let's try this see if we can make use of the cleave effect on the playhouse giant to contest the uh, tsunami are kind of a bummer. I needed it not to hit the Playhouse Giant, unfortunately. Hello. Is someone there? Nope, nobody there. a lot of big stats. Is it possible we actually make it through here? Seems unlikely still. But I do only need like one of my larger scale minions to hit face. 
think they've played both tsunamis. The attacks are hard to get to. Wait, there's the con man. That could just replay the uh one hundred percent real fake go. Those were the only t they hit four for four on the attacks. What do I need to hit? Need to hit the roaring applause. So that I can hit fell in, through fell in flames. That was actually, like, they just sniped the best targets <laughs> in a pretty absurd way. <laughs> and sniped the best Ysera card. Okay. We still get there? Oh, Loki decided to show up. I wasn't going to be able to activate it last turn anyway. But... Let your penance begin. I kind of just like this whole hand. That gives me the potential to town crier into the amalgam in the future. So we just go, yeah, amalgam through fell in flames. Look to coin out probably the. Gatekeeper? Unless this gets cleared. In which case we can just coin out the Steam Guardian. Maybe it's worth a trade there in case they have Cookie, specifically. Access denied. Let's just take that off the board. We've already got one decently set up Amalgam. Could use a Furnace, or Furious Furnace, so that it can, like, easily clear their board as well. A draw into one of the uh, amalgams would go kind of nicely here just so they get more value off of the roaring applause. They also either have a cookie or another. No way. They're gonna hex it? Okay. two off of this. Job done. Okay. There's our potential uh, amalgam. But there's a good chance this is cookie. If it's not cookie, it's the other Grofin. I need to get a playhouse giant ready to... I don't have rush for it. So I just need to juice the, uh, the amalgam then. Assume if that were a growth in, they would have played it last turn. not invest too much into this uh, amalgam just because there could be a wave of nostalgia. Is 
there. Access denied. Fortunately, no card draw this turn. There's the concern that they just end up getting the second copy of their uh, Thrall's Gift for a Hex, but... It's also very easy for us to be in a worse spot right now. Just draw it right back, I guess. Applause into another girl boss could be good. What if that was the other gift? Hopefully it lands on this. We gotta leave our room in the oh, it doesn't. Okay. Want to hear my playlist? Want to hear my playlist? Should I shouldn't have played both of those. They died to the whelps, so there was no real value in that. Could do something like Amalgam into Gatekeeper to get the second Amalgam as well, or have a chance at it. Which it looks like we might need. This isn't guaranteed, but it's very likely. Time to rock. We'll just settle for these. So once again, pretty late on the uh, Playhouse Giants. I think we might get to the point where we only want to develop one amalgam at a time so that we don't run the risk of getting hit by the wave of nostalgia.
That's quite bad for me. That's just excruciatingly bad for me. Is someone there? Nope, nobody there. Listen here. One shot, one and roll. Yeah, I think we lose from here. Unless the opponent does a whoopsie. Like, they just chew through my board with the Sea Giant. If they use their good brain. This can help me get there. Wait, did they lose the? They lost the gray battle buff because of the cookie, and the reborn didn't take effect. It kind of feels like the cookie was a throw here. Like, did trying to eke out too much value off of it just? Kill them? And were there better ways that they could have accomplished that?